Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for another segment of Michigan Conservative Roundtable. I have Kim to my right, Mac is to my left, my name is TJ, and uh, uh, at, at the risk of uh, being like everyone else out there in this segment, I wanted to talk about uh, the passing, the unfortunate passing of Rush Limbaugh. I was, a, I was an avid listener, uh, perhaps more so than Mac, I'm not so sure about Kim, but I... I I, I sensed this was going to uh, happen soon. In fact, I almost paged Mac because or te paged texted Mac because because I I, I I suspected that that it was uh, imminent. But in any event, what I want to do is I I thought we'd just kind of go around round table uh, how we for I don't start with myself. Uh, for instance, I got out of the army in 1989. So when when I came back home to Detroit. I heard everyone talking about this guy on WJR, you know, and and I'd never heard of this guy before. Uh, I don't even know if I really heard his name other than, yeah, this guy on WJR. And so, you know, I was working day shift at my job, and, and so uh, I took my lunch at, at uh, 12 p.m., so I, I caught the first 30 minutes of his show, and I thought, holy cow, you know, who is this guy? And And then, you know... Then it, then it kind of took off from there with me, and I was just wondering, uh, you know. I didn't listen to Russ a whole lot. You didn't lot. listen to I'm him hardly at all. Honest, yeah. But I do know who he is, and I have listened to him enough to know that, you know, he was one of the first big conservative people that had the balls to start talking about. Well, calling it the way it is. The way well, he, it is. Yeah, he, he made uh, talk radio really of all sorts especially conservative talk radio, popular. And 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 uh, I, I know Mac uh, will probably know what I'm talking about here in that I remember once once it began once it began to go mainstream, I remember in the mornings I used to listen to and I can't remember if it was WXYZ or WXYT. Yeah, they changed. They names. changed they were one then they changed the other. And I remember, you know, Mark Scott in the morning, A is A, you know, mm -hmm. uh, who, who he, he also has passed. But I remember listening to Mark Scott in the morning and then, uh, you know, catching Rush Limbaugh whenever I could in the past or, or you know, in the afternoon. Uh, and, and I just I just found it. I, I just uh, I just got hooked on talk radio at that point, you know. Yeah, you won't hear people say it, but you really lost two radio giants this year in Rush Limbaugh and uh, well, maybe it was the end of last year, Larry King. Yeah. yeah. Larry King. I mean, I used to listen to Larry King at night and that's what, because I was a, a courier at the time, so I would drive all night long and I would listen to Larry King and he was an excellent interviewer and he would tell funny stories and it wasn't what it was like on CNN. That was a, a different thing. But, but I listened to Rush for years and years and years and then I started working day shift and I would be working while, uh, while it was on. While it was on, and I, I couldn't have a radio. because I, I job couldn't I had. fathom, even during the daytime when productive people were working, how he could still have such a large audience. Well, And that was before the podcasts and, and all that stuff. Yeah, and, you know? and back then, when, he, when I first started listening, which was probably 88 or 89, 90, uh, he, you, you could listen to that at work. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now, oh my God, if you yes. had that on the radio... Oh. Yeah, you know, uh, it's 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 deemed controversial, and, and you'd be tarred and feathered. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, hate speech. In, in regards to his passing, I remember when he did his his last show of last year, 2020, and I, and I read an article, uh, the guy was writing, gee, I think we just listened to the last, uh, last uh, 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 show of, of Rush, and I thought, oh my goodness, it's, is is has he has his physical condition deteriorated that bad you know because i got used to the he had his treatment week and when he had his treatment week you know he knew, you knew he wasn't going to be on the radio during, for his treatment week but he was always back the next week or two until his next treatment week and it, it pretty much went uh like like i'm going to say the rest of the year cuz he was diagnosed yep. early on last year mm -hmm. so so that's kind of how the bulk of the year went well then once we got into 2021, I noticed he was less and less on on the radio, and and it was it was more than just his treatment week. And the next two weeks he was on treatment week. You know, and I thought, uh oh, this isn't good. 
And then, and then one of my favorite fill-ins, Mark Stein, the, the Canadian, uh, he, he made a couple comments, and that's when I almost texted you and said, hey, I don't think Russia's got a whole lot longer. And, and I, was so, I was so certain of that that I intentionally, and, and it was Wednesday, I intentionally made sure I had my radio on at the, at the start of that hour. And then all of a sudden you hear a, a female voice that you had never heard before, and I'm getting goosebumps now, but you know you hear this new female voice, and I, w within, within the second, third sentence, I thought, oh, no, he's gone. And I just, uh, I, I just, uh, you know. For anybody out there, who, and you're, nobody's probably watching at this point, but the diehards, but it, this is an example of how one person can make a difference. Yeah, yes. Uh, in, in a monumentous way. And I, you know, so don't I, think you don't matter. Is my point. And 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 I, I just thought, you know, uh, uh, he, I know, I know, he compelled in me to not just not that not that you just have your beliefs, but you gotta know why you believe what you believe to make your beliefs unshakable. You know. Yeah, he confirmed for me. He confirmed my beliefs and taught me how to. Uh, debate people, yeah, and, uh, and and to know when you won, and 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 to know you're not alone. Yes, that, that, that's what we try to do on this channel. But again, like I said, probably only the diehards are watching. So. <laughs> well, my big thanks, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> my big thing is is that he let us know our voices are be, can be heard. Mm -hmm. You know, and that just keep talking, keep doing it. The the one thing I've noticed, and maybe I've just missed the news reports uh, and, and, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong in saying this, I just haven't noticed it. I haven't seen the left really celebrating his past. Oh, they have. They there have? Some, oh, yeah. yeah. It was All horrible right. on Facebook. Uh, that, there's an actor horrible. and he's a D-level actor. He's He was in Hellraiser. I can't think of the guy's name. He's not an attractive man. Not that I generally can tell, but this guy... <laughs> so they were partying. No, he said... Oh, yeah. He feels sorry for Satan because he'll have to spend eternity with hell, with Rush. Oh, in well, hell with Rush. that so, kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah they well, were you're saying in, horrible things like, yeah, that, we that, were that, glad that he's gone and yeah. just horrible. Well, that kind of sucks. But, uh, I, you know, as, as to what happens, I guess they're going to continue running his show, at least in the short term. Uh, you'll probably have the likes of Mark Stein, uh, uh, Todd, I want to say Herman maybe, uh, and, and then, then there, there was a thing. He's got a couple other guys that kind of regularly filled in for him. Yeah. So Mark Davis. I Mark, Mark Davis. Yeah. Uh, Who I like. But, uh, you know, I, I know like with Mark Stein would make a point and then play a clip of Rush in support of the point Mark Stein was making. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to be what how Mark Stein was, was uh, doing his show just the other day. And I really like Mark Stein. Mark Stein. Uh, I know he's a Canadian. I, I would hope someday he becomes a U.S. citizen, but you know, well, he Mark, sounds British. Yeah, you know, uh, in fact, in fact, uh, uh, my wife always laughs when I imitate him. Uh, uh, it's the, the, when he when he filled in for Rush, he'd say, uh, uh, "What did he say? The uh, undocumented uh, uh, Rush baby or something? I don't know because because he was an immigrant. Yeah, you know, because he's from Canada." He used to always refer to himself as an undocumented uh, uh, immigrant or something. I for, I forget what he used to say, but but I Mark Stein was one of my favorites. He seemed to be one of the favorites. I know he's been on Sean Hannity a bit, but anyways, uh, uh, as to what happens, gee, I don't know. Just you you, you talk about a void that's gonna. I don't know how they're gonna fill this void. It is. It's just uh, what a what a what a what a. What a what a sad event! Sad event. I just uh, and and I feared it was imminent. At, I, I was talking to Mac about this too. At the risk of being naive, I was holding out hope for divine intervention, and you know, I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. So that's it. I've I've said my piece. Any any yep. final thoughts here? Okay. Well, well we. We, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the uh, Rush family. Uh, I tell you what it, what, it took courage for his wife to get on there. She's going to be on tomorrow, actually, I heard. Yeah. 
uh, it, it, it just, uh, to get on the radio and without breaking down make the announcement, that, ha, ha. Heck, Bo Snurdly broke down, about broke down on Sean Hannity's show, yeah. uh, if you saw that video clip. So, anyways, that's it. You know, let us know uh, whether or not you agree with us, whether or not you're going to miss him to the extent that I know I am. And, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, no more rambling. Thanks for hanging tough here, everyone. And as we always end with, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.